Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do the laziest juggling trick in the world. So lazy that you can do it even with your eyes shut. It doesn't make too much of a difference. This is essentially the chest cascade, but it's quite a nice logical progression to get into it. And it's also really nice because obviously you can do it sitting down and it actually helps when you're sitting down. Let's start with just one ball. All you're going to do is sit on your comfiest sofa or chair and take a degree of recline. I'm probably going to go to about 45 degrees here. Might help if you have a little cushion or something to put under your back. Anyway, with one ball, the first thing that we're going to need to do is just do the basic throw and understand where we can throw it on our chest to get it going into the right position. So for me, I know that if I throw the ball into this central spot, it's going to always roll down to the center. This is where you want the ball to be going in this trick. Both balls from both hands always go into the center. So you collect it in the center and then you go from the outside throw it from the outside into the center and repeat. Just place the ball center of your chest and let it roll into the other hand. Now, when you're getting used to that step, throw the ball from halfway up to that point and let it roll. From here, let it roll. Now, obviously, you're gonna take it to the final step, which is throwing with your hand in your lap. There's no particular way to hold it, just sort of rest your hands in your lap. It's meant to be relaxed, so you don't really want to carry any unnecessary tension. Just have your hands sort of loose, throw it, see if you can get it to roll back into the center like this. This is the step that you're gonna be spending the most time on, and you can do it when you're watching TV. It actually helps a little bit if you're not looking at the ball, because then you're gonna get more used to, A, the feeling of oh, it's landed, it's hit the right place, so I know it's gonna go down to the right place. And also just sort of knowing the timing between where it hits and where your hand has to be for it to roll into. Obviously, there is a little bit of margin for error, like it's not just the dead center in, you know, the, you know this bony part of your chest, that's where I'm thinking of hitting. But it's not just in this area that the ball will travel down to the center. For me, it's here. Also, sort of, if we go a little bit on either side, should still go to the center. If it's too far over, like a little bit on the outside of my pec, it's probably going to be a little bit too far on the outside. It's not unsavable, but it's definitely making it harder. Now we know we can get the ball to land anywhere from around here to there to here, and it should go into the right spot. You're getting used to throwing and catching. This is the basic roll. This is all you're gonna to need to do. You may notice that because the balls are always going into the center, your hand might need to come across a little bit more than it usually would when you're doing a normal cascade. That's okay. You can use this whole area in your lap just to collect balls and obviously, because it's quite a natural place for the balls to stop, it makes it so much easier to do it like this. Once you're used to it with one ball, take two and just do the standard two ball step, one, two, like that. If you're able to do this, throwing and catching in opposite hands, as you would for the normal juggle, then you can pretty much move on straight away to three balls. Simply with the three balls, we're gonna go for the three throws and three catches. So I'm gonna start off one, two, three. If you can do that, all we're gonna do is add one more throw at a time. So one, two, three, four, etc. Once you're beginning to get the hang of this trick, we're gonna up the ante a little bit. We're gonna increase the difficulty by decreasing the recline. As you may be able to tell, the further you're reclined, the slower the balls are gonna come down. So obviously it's a bit too extreme, but if you're juggling normally, all the ball does is go up, it comes down. The chest goes up, it stops, and it comes down slower than it would if it had 
no resistance and it was falling straight like that. So to make it harder, all you're gonna do is increase the angle a little bit. You're still not upright. It's still going slower than it would be, but it's just a little bit harder. So the idea is basically you're gonna slowly increase the angle until you're sitting all the way upright. So now it's still slower than a normal cascade because you have the moment of resistance where it's hitting your chest, but it's gonna be much faster than this one. So you can really see there's a nice moment where it can pause in your chest. Anyway, when you're doing it like this, you've achieved the chest cascade and theoretically, you should be able to just stand up and it's the same trick. On the next video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this chest cascade into the sideways chest cascade. I'm not gonna show you in this video, but definitely on the next one. The hardest part about learning this trick is on the normal juggle, you're always told to do it like this and you'll get someone that does it like this and you'll say, don't do that. But on the chest cascade, this is sort of what you wanna do. You wanna be throwing it like this as opposed to like that. And it might take a little while to get your head around it, but as soon as you do, you'll probably find this way easier than the normal cascade. Remember, if you've got it, try and challenge yourself to do it with your eyes shut. It's really much, much easier than the cascade with your eyes shut because you can feel where the ball is hitting your chest and the timing just makes it a lot more logical to know when to catch it. Also, you can see my hands are sort of replacing my lap in the sense that if the ball hits my chest, it's got to go down into my hands. It's not really, it's not really possible for it to fall unless I don't hit in the right place. If I hit over here, I'm probably not gonna catch it. But if I hit in this safe area, it's always gonna drop and my hands are always gonna be there. So worst case scenario, I would do, it would be like a, a little fluffle, but you'd still be able to catch it. That makes this trick a very safe trick in my opinion. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like if you liked it. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.